Right now, we're following new threats and new propaganda video from North Korea. CNN's Brian Todd is working the story for us. Uh, Brian, some tough new talk from the dictator, Kim Jong-un. Some tough talk, Wolf, frustration on the part of Kim, and some real anticipation tonight. Military and intelligence officials from Seoul to Washington are now watching closely to see if Kim is frustrated enough to engage in a dangerous provocation. The new year brings bold strokes of bravado from North Korea's supreme leader. As his propaganda arm releases new video of a recent visit Kim Jong-un made to the revered Mount Pektu on a white stallion, complete with sound effects of the horse's gallop. The dictator brashly declares that his country will no longer be bound by his self-declared halt to the testing of his nuclear bombs and long-range missiles. As the world sees fresh video of Kim's officers standing in the water, then Kim posing with his wife, Ri Sol Ju, in a snowbanked stream, we also get an ominous new warning from the despot. The world will witness a new strategic weapon to be possessed by the DPRK in the near future. What kind of weapon could that be? Many of us are expecting some kind of ICBM launch, uh, whether it's a, an existing missile that they have or a variant or perhaps even a new ICBM like solid fuel. They could do additional submarine launches. They could do land-based medium range. They could do intermediate range missiles. They could, with an ICBM, finally demonstrate that they have a re-entry vehicle capability. That would protect a warhead as it comes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Despite the cheerful propaganda of Kim emerging from a photo op on Mount Pektu with soldiers frantically applauding, analysts say the young leader is likely frustrated tonight that his nuclear diplomacy with President Trump has not paid off for him. There has been no lifting of sanctions. There has been no progress on ending the Korean War. And there's been no progress in having regular diplomatic negotiations without it being cut short. And so, frankly, Kim Jong-un doesn't have much to show for right now. Venting that frustration, Kim's regime imposed a deadline for more progress toward a nuclear weapons deal with the U.S. to be made by the end of 2019 or else. The regime threatened a so-called Christmas gift to America, which many experts believed would be the testing of a long-range missile. That hasn't come yet. And even with his latest New Year's threats, analysts point out Kim did not say he's walking away from diplomacy with President Trump. What Kim Jong-un has done by signaling assertiveness and aggressiveness, but also leaving the door for diplomacy, is to say, look, we want to negotiate as much as you guys do. And the president, even as Kim's latest threats were trickling in from Pyongyang, said he's still banking on his personal relationship with Kim. He likes me. I like him. We get along. I think he's a man of his word, so we're going to find out. But I think he's a man of his word. But some believe if Kim tests a long-range missile soon, Trump and his team should no longer be so accommodating. The U.S. should, should stop our own self-imposed constraints on military exercises. We've canceled at least 13 exercises. That's degraded U.S. deterrence and defense capabilities. Analysts say if Kim Jong-un does test a long-range missile sometime soon, a big challenge for the Trump team is going to be to get tough with Kim without overreacting. One way to thread that needle, they say, the Trump administration could target Kim with specific sanctions, like going after the Chinese banks that are suspected of laundering his money for him. Wolf, we'll see if they can do that.